Hey guys, back in, and today we're going to talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 3. 18 months, a little over that, almost two years later, how do I feel about the phone? Do I still love it? Do I still recommend it? Uh, some of the things I like, some things I don't like and let's talk about it so first of all do i still love this phone after 18 months yes this phone is awesome i still love being able to open it up you know watch youtube do different things different tasks it's all big and bold you can see it clear when you want to zoom into something that still holds true you know you can see you can get very close and all those things i still do love this phone um, so what we're going to talk about is what do I love what are the issues I've had what cases I've used uh, the up gear, upgrade path for me what I plan to do next after this phone and you know the issues so let's get into it so the first things first if you buy this phone the first thing I recommend you do is to get a glass screen protector so I'm gonna take the phone here and I'll flip it over let's close it so it's gonna come with a plastic strip on the front but I completely recommend just peeling that off uh, get on Amazon and get a glass, tempered glass screen protector, and the outside screen feels way better after that. It looks like every other phone does with a glass screen protector, but just you also get more protect, protection. It's just better. Uh, on the inside, so it has a protective plastic film on the inside that was already there, so that's fine. You know, that's there. I will say, and I was going to talk about this later, but we'll jump into it. So I have had to replace this inside screen uh, protector. I would say it was last year. I'll pull up the date in a minute and I'll show you, but there's a kit you can order. And if you're good with installing screen protectors, you'll be fine. If you're not good at those things, it is you want to take somewhere and have them do it. It's not hard, but it's a process. So let me show you what you need. You're going to order this kit and let's pull it up here. So here you can see what did I order here? Here is the tempered glass. So this was ordered last July. Um, this vendor is for this case is no longer selling for this phone, but I'm sure you can find it But I only use the front screen. I did not use this internal screen protector I did not use the lens protectors. I just used this glass and I was happy I believe I got it for maybe ten dollars. It was nothing crazy. It was well worth it So the inside screen that started to peel a little bit and I'll show you where So during that time and I should have made a video showing how to install it, but essentially uh, I could see a little bit of bubbling and I believe it was in the middle, just on the bottom crease. I'll turn it off so you can see, but really down here, right? It was kind of bubbling a little bit and starting to show that, hey, it's it's time to, it's plastic, right? It's being flexed every day. It's time to replace this plastic. And when you order it, so here's the kit that I went with. And I was happy with it. It did a really good job, and I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm looking here again, so I'll bring it back. You can see it has three and a half stars. And I think that's because, again, if you're not that good at installing screen protectors, and just be honest, because you know everyone's done it, and it's, it can be easier, it can be hard. But if you're not that good at it, you can find this to be difficult. So for me, it's pretty easy. I do it all the time, so it's easy. But I'm not going to lie and say it's something you want to do if it's not something you're good at. So the kit you get looks like this. Yeah. It's, it's a puzzle. So they're going to send you this. You're going to put it here and you can see it says camera right here, right? So you'll line the phone up in the case. And I've got a case on, so you can't do it. But again, you'll put that there. And bear with me. I've got cameras, so I'm trying to do it in front of the lights and everything. But again, you put that on top and it has a little squeegee. So what you'll do is the screen protector clips into these holes on the top and the bottom and then you would take this tool you pull it down and when you smudge it down like this it's sliding on rails so when it slides on the rails it'll lay that screen protector onto the phone the biggest thing just like every other protector getting the dust off using the alcohol wipes you know cleaning the phone properly before you do the install if you don't do it or if you touch the phone while you're doing setting everything up you're going to get fingerprints the oils from your hands are going to get under the screen protector and that will make it peel off later so again it's not rocket science but once you line it all up it's all cleaned off you just put it on and you'll see it start to separate from its own piece the little top screen piece and it's done that fast i went over a few times to make sure took it all off and it was done there was really not a lot of work it was a lot easier than I expected but again if you're not good at this at that type of thing 
have someone else do it or just take it to a store have them do it but for the 20 bucks i was very happy and it's been on here now for a year so it's that was last september so it's been on and it's technically lasted longer than the original protector that came on the phone so that's a good sign um, let's talk about some other things so cases so personally i like wallet cases i like to take my phone and just use it i like to let me pull these out here You know, everyone, we all forget our wallets, but having this case, I do it now to all my phones, but I'll get a little wallet case and that way I always have my, my ID and my card with me. And it's been super convenient. It doesn't take up any space. It doesn't feel bulky. It only holds two, maybe three cards, which is just fine. It, it gets the job done. I've gone through two of these backs and this is the second one. So the first one was a more different style of black. This one is this carbon fiber. And I just noticed it, it cracked here. But again, I've dropped this phone before and it's still going strong. So that's that. The biggest thing about the cases is the front. So these front pieces here, they do, some have double-sided tape that you can stick on there. It goes right on the rail right here and it'll kind of lay down on this side. So you can do that and you're gonna need a few fronts, but you have to buy a whole case set to get the fronts. So expect that. So again, if you were to go buy a case in the store, they're probably 80 bucks. I buy all my stuff on Amazon or whoop.com and I pay such a fraction of a price. It doesn't bother me to order three or four cases when I buy new phones. That way I'm paying, you know, getting a three for one special. So here's some of the cases I picked up. This was the first one. And again, these are probably ballpark 20, 25 bucks. Um, nothing crazy standard prices for a case, but this had the front cover and the wallet on the back. This was the first one I used, and I really liked this one because the style was like that. It did not have this flip out. There must have two models back then, but it was this back with the same front. It was the same vendor. It was Shield Store, so the same vendor. Um, then I did end up getting the stylus that I'll show in a second, and this case came with a stylus holder on the front. And the last case I just ordered was now 11 bucks because the phone, again, the Z Fold 5 is out, right? So now the cases are on sale for the Z Fold 3. So 11 bucks, I figured, let me just get this clear more bumper more protective case and i can stick a wallet little glue thing on the back here if i want to but at least that way i have another one in case these breaks so let me see what we got here so here's my bag of cases and again the backs last a long time you can see this back has a little kickstand on it no problems here and this is the stylus and I'll show where I got the stylus from too because the stylus, come to find out, is $80. Do not pay $80 for that stylus. It's not worth it. But if you go online and look at woot.com, that's W-O-O-T.com, under their electronic section, you will find that same $80 case for nine bucks. That's how much I paid for it. So it came with the case and the stylus, and that was nine dollars. Where's the stylus? It's right here. So let's pop that out. So the stylus does not work on the front screen. It does not go to the glass. It's just there. It's really for the inside when you're actually doing things on the inside. And you can see it works just fine. What else do I have in here? So we've got one case, one front. And again, these, I was really just wanting the front. So that way when this front piece breaks, I can take it off because this front, I'll see if you can see it. It's cracked. So right there. And it, I'm not bothered, I'm not upset because it's plastic. This is probably the third front I've gone through. Uh, what I liked about this one too is it's also, you can't tell, but it's a little bit uh, higher. So it's got a little bit of protection. So if it hits something on the front, it, it gives you some gap to kind of protect it. So that's really nice. What else do we have here in my little phone case? Um, here's this is the this is the back that goes with that front so I mismatch match my backs and fronts because again the backs will last way longer than the little front pieces will uh, here is that clear case that I just ordered and it's plastic it feels just like something you would get for your phone it's lightweight has the bumpers you know I'm sure I'll be using this you know whenever and this was the stylus case that came from Woot where it has the sleeve for the, the stylus I don't use it because I don't like this cover. Um, I might use it later on, but I use the front screen. I don't want to open this cover to have to use my front screen. This, so I just don't use it. But hey, for nine bucks, it came with the whole kit. I'm happy. So what else do we have here? So those are all my cases. So I'm saying all this to say when you get the phone, 
or any fold phone, order two cases. Um, order a back that you really like and try to find a front that is affordable that you're gonna like because you will go through multiple fronts, cases, and the back case will last you a lot longer. So when this one dies, it will be mismatched. It will have a clear in the front and a black on the back. But again, who's looking at your phone? Nobody, it's just you, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, so what do we got here? Let me check my notes. So we've gone over some of the issues, right? When it comes to the screen protector, how long that lasted. We talked about the cases. Um, let's see. Now some other things that I don't like. The front screen. All right, I'm going to call it space bay. This front screen is too small. It's too narrow. Is it a real problem? It's not a real problem, but it's it's narrow, right? It's it's you can't call it any, any other way. When you're using it, I do find myself using it, you know, throughout the day. I don't ever find myself having to open the phone because it's so bad. It's not that bad, but when you're watching YouTube or different things, it is noticeable. And, and or just there's certain things you're doing where okay, let me just make sure I open the phone and let's go back to what I was doing. So that's that. Um, what else do we have here? That's really it. That's all my bads that I have on here. You know, just that front case will crack, which is not a big deal. Just order two. The front screen, hopefully they make it wider. Um, and outside of that, that's about it. I would say anyone that has the Samsung Galaxy S2, that old 8-inch tablet they made a few years ago, this screen is the same size as that screen without the bezels. So if you have one or know someone that does, that's your best reference to how wide this phone is. Um, using it, it's great. You're still going to love it. I haven't had anything that makes me want to return it or swap it out. Am I going to get the Z Fold 5? I don't see any deals right now because I'm still under contract with my current vendor, so I wouldn't be eligible till December. If they had that phone for six, seven hundred bucks, I may find myself upgrading. Um, I don't truly feel a need because when I saw them in the store, the only difference is when you close this phone, the new one closes flat. This one has a slight gap. As you can see, there's no dust or anything crazy in my phone, so there's no need for me to replace it for that reason. Our economy's not doing the best, so I'm not looking to upgrade. I'm looking to make this last as long as I can. Um, the only other issue I've had is a dead pixel. That is, if I can find a black picture, I can show you. That is the only other thing that has come up, if you want to say, about this phone. But really, I really like the phone. I think you're going to love it. I think anyone that is on the fence and is catching a good deal, again, do not pay $2,000 for this phone. It's not worth it. Um, I believe I got it for $9.99. It was something very reasonable to any other phone that was out there, and I was more than happy to pay that price. But, you know, it's it's a really good phone. It's It doesn't lag. I haven't had any issues. I do use Nova Launcher as my home screen, so I don't find myself having to you know modify things or change things it just works it gets the job done and like i said in my other video you really find yourself you know sometimes accidentally flexing on people when you go to the store and you know hey do you guys have this in stock and you zoom in and just the look on their face like wait what is this what, what type of phone is that you know you could see almost down to the prices there and i'm standing pretty far away you know it's 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 really it's really convenient. It's really nice for you using it. And I'm very happy. So that's my wrap up. That's my 18 months with this phone. If you can afford it, get it. Do not pay full price for it. Get you a wallet case in the back. Or if you don't buy this case, buy a regular case and get those little sticky wallets that go back here. It will fit just fine. Slap it on right here and you'll be good to go. Again, you're going to need two front cases because these front cases will crack or what have you. And you just replace it. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.